All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful day and I'm so happy to be at the junkyard. I want to look at these real quick because uh, this is exactly what I thought. I need to make a gantry to lift the crane or lift the cab off. And uh, they sell these wheel weld on wheel hubs for trailers. You can get them for like 50 bucks. Uh, so I guess that's what I'll do. I guess that's what I'll use. And then they swivel. Yeah. So you got two swivels and two fixed. Cool. That'll be useful for the shop. Let's see what we got out here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to uh, hang out in the junkyard again. Gen 4 stuff has started hitting this yard pretty regularly. Um, of course, they grab it the instant it hits, but if you wanted it bad enough, you probably could. Oh. And Gen 3 stuff is just pretty much valueless at this point. Um, you're definitely in the sweet spot of hot rodding right now. Like, those are common enough and cheap enough. Make good power derby with them. Truck. All right. See what else we got. One of my favorite things about coming to the yard is uh, they're all a little different. Everybody lays them out. Some people put all Chevys here and all Fords there, and it doesn't matter if they're cars or trucks. Some people do trucks and cars. Some people do trucks and cars and divide them up. See what kind of stuff we got here. Ooh. Yeah, working on this one. These are the seats I want for Marv, and they're not effed up. I'm gonna have to come get these. That's a score. I'm gonna have to bring tools tomorrow. Yeah, we'd like the uh, split bench like that. Mars is an extended cab, but like newer ones, it, the back doesn't open. So you have to like tilt the front, front seat up to get to the back seat, and it's a big pain in the dick. Um, so really, we're just gonna ignore the back seat, take it out, build storage back there and a little shelf for peanut and coconut to sit on, sleep on while we go on trips and some other storage. So the easiest way to access that would be with a console and a pair of buckets. So that's a nice find. The junkyard will provide, provided you walk out into it enough times. I've seen where people use these explorer seats, and these, this one's wrecked. These look okay. But you'd have to make a custom bracket and all that. Um, obviously, the ones meant to bolt in the truck are the easiest ones to use, and those ones are in good shape. The problem with Marv is the same problem with uh, my Forerunner. It, it's like a coupe, you know basically you got to have a seat that, that folds up and most of most of your SUVs and trucks and stuff won't because they have back doors but back when Marv was new back doors were not common 
Does this flip up? Yep. So it's water seats flip up. That's a good thing to know. I don't know why it flips up. Probably because they use the same seat for the two-door and the four-door. This will be a great episode for you guys. Me walking around looking at seats. Somebody took half of this one. Or I just took the whole seat. Where'd it go? What happened to your passenger seat? That's another fun thing about the junkyard is you get to play detective. Where did your seat go? Why did you need half one seat? That Ranger probably has tumbling seats. This certainly does. But they're all electronic-y. I don't want to deal with that. Right there, COVID mask. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Oh, what else do we got out here? Yeah, so this this particular yard, this is LKQ in Grand Rapids. I don't get out here often. But uh, they don't put SUVs with the trucks. They put them with the cars. They put all the trucks together regardless of make and model. And then they uh, divide the cars up by make and model. But put the SUVs with them. as far as this goes that's too bad this is kind of a cool leather seat I left a sweet knife out here last time I was out here I'm a little bummed out about it So what kind of stuff do you guys look for in the yard? Another thing that stands out to me in the yard is that, like, at some point, that was somebody's dream car. They worked so hard to get it. They were so proud of it. They showed it off to their friends. And now here it sits. Is this an expedition? I think this one's an expedition. She's a tumbler. And powers. Huh. Nope, this is an explorer. 99. Jeez, JR, don't you know anything about explorers? As a matter of fact, I don't. This one's not a ton. Oh, wait. Hold on. So the explorers tumble. That's cool. Even if I can't get that one, I can come out here and pick from a million explorers I don't know why they tumble it's weird these ones are pretty good pretty good but they don't tumble as far it's weird Ford's weird Ford's always been weird too They're like they do the most random shit running changes constantly These seats are cool, but they don't tumble. I told you this was going to be a fun episode for you guys. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. This one's a lot newer. It's electronic -y. All right. I think I'm going to wrap it up. It's hot. And you guys are probably bored. But uh, watching me wander around look for seats. I'll find some eventually. I'll probably pull the ones out of that truck if I can. Um, I'm going to try to get out here tomorrow with some tools and take them. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, my Oklahoma trip is done. I'm back from Oklahoma now with my new cab. But you guys won't see it until this weekend. I have a lot more editing to do on that versus this. And, of course, I don't have like the time or the patience to like pull into a tourist attraction and set up a camera and then pull back out and then pull in on camera and I'm trying to enjoy my trip I'm trying to share it with you guys but I'm also trying to enjoy it so I don't want to do a bunch of work obviously but uh thanks for watching guys and uh keep following along and we'll keep building these trucks up 
See you next time.